Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Gate of Hell, Oster Front. And we are playing, I believe, the first workshop mission of Oster Front on this channel. I believe it's the first time I've played a played a workshop mission on this channel for Oster Front. I know I've played a ton for AS2. Anyway, back in the AS2 days, I categorically avoided the Valor mod because I just did not like it at all. It had a whole bunch of issues that really, really annoyed me. It made the game laggy as hell and back. And yeah, I just avoided it like the plague. However, with Osterfront being 64-bit compared to AS2 being 32-bit, don't make me go into that because I'll be here all day. We have removed many of those limitations and so obviously there's a the battle for Iwo Jima is what we're playing but I haven't played the Valor mod on Ostafun yet so I am willing to give it a chance so without further ado let's rock and roll all right the Marines listen up the Iwo Jima invasion has begun use. I know all frogmen have already scouted the coastline for any explosives and our advanced short party in Ladia are second wave of arriving soon. Awesome! Japanese resistance is reported light, small arms fire and snipers, but the LZ is under heavy artillery fire. Heavy vehicles are stuck in volcanic sand. As they were, that is legitimate. Roger that, sir. Do one thing. Our first objective will be to secure our reinforcements. We need to get rid of the Japanese bunkers for a beach zone. Righto. We've organized supplies at the coast ammunition and medical grade are available. As they are. Right, Chief, the final naval bombardment against the enemy is starting. Good luck, Marines. Rightio. I'm really hoping that this is realistic because granted I haven't played the Valor mod in a long, long time. I am not reading that. If you want to read that, you can pause the video. I'm not reading that. That is so much text. Um, for some reason, I remember the Valamod being very, very arcadey. I'm not sure whether I'm right in that, but I remember it being very, very arcadey. This is a big ass map. Holy crap. Granted, there aren't a huge amount of units on, but I'm not seeing any lag so far. Especially with all the particles going in from the explosion. This is bloody impressive. This is why we need this 64 bit on AS2. Grr. Anyway, this is looking damn good. Yeah, I remember the battle mod being very, very arcadey, which is one of the reasons I think I didn't like it. I could be wrong with that, but I that's the that's the memory I have of it. So I'm hoping that it's not arcadey and it's like Rob Z level of realism, because that's what we need in this game. Holy crap, this is... I, uh, I think this might take me more than one video. I might have to do this in, like, beach area, Mount Suabachi, the airfield, everything else, in separate videos. Oh my god. <laughs> there is so much going on. Oh, that's like a rocket artillery, isn't it? Welcome to skip forward to the action, but this cinematic is stunning to the point where until it actually finishes, I'm, I'm staying. I want to watch the whole damn thing. This looks brilliant. See, this is what war films need to look like. There's a very good war film based on Iwo Jima. I believe it's called Flags of Our Fathers. Very, very good film. Also, because it literally happened yesterday, or like the day before or something. Um, congratulations to uh, All Quiet on the Western Front for winning all their awards. Absolutely stunning film, I loved it. If this is realistic, this is going to be difficult.
That was nearly a direct hit. smart thing which is they've fogged up a load of area yeah that is a smart thing because that reduces a lot of lag right where do we have infantry we have get you firing Can we i'm thinking least resistance is on the right so we should flank Guys, we can't do this with three men. Oh dear. Oh jeez. They're here already. Yeah, go down that end. Go down there. You're going to be even more useful down there. See if you can go down there as well. There is so much going on. Holy crap. I'll try and take out some of these... See anything? I think this actually is very realistic. Oh my god, that's a lot of... Okay, I didn't know they were there. Okay, just free move. Get you in the touch line. Okay, I think we I think we found out that it, uh, it's fairly realistic. <laughs> We need you. We can take out these MG nests. That's one gone. Up you go. Up you go. Gotcha. Good job. You are probably going to get destroyed, but go anyway. Jeez, you've actually ma you've made it decently far. Good job. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh my god, we've got more people. Where have you come from? Just fire at anything and everything. <laughs> oh, mortar. Don't jump on that. Ah, 
Aye, 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 aye. Oh. Gotcha. I'm not, not sure I had secured the beachhead, but okay. <laughs> oh no, this is Mount Suribachi, isn't it? That's gonna be fun, not. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mount Suribachi. The fourth very special for sure bombardment support communications team. <laughs> That's a mouthful and a half. Holy crap. Actually, I'm not sure this is Mount Zuribachi. It's not Mount Zuribachi. Oh god, it's my right flank. <laughs> 